See me. Yeah? <laughs> okay, so in this video we're going to be working on the Ford Focus. Now, I feel a little bit unfaithful working on Ford Focus, but I'll get over it. You've got to help other people as well. Let's not be selfish. Let's share in this caring. So, we're going to be removing the turbo on this Ford Focus. It's a turbo diesel. They're quite uh, common to have problems with the turbos fail quite regularly due to poor to oil um, oil starvation and it's actually quite a sooty engine I'll probably explain it a little bit better in the actual video itself but in a nutshell the engine's quite sooty and there's debris picks up inside of the oil and a little bit of debris will damage your turbo because your turbos are ultra sensitive and are precision engineered pieces of machinery much like most of the car but they're actually quite sensitive to very small bits of uh, debris so we are going to be removing the turbo hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to comment rate subscribe okay so at the full focus we're going to be removing the turbo as i stated earlier now that's pretty easy because this is located at the front as you can see i'm just loosening the intake hose going into the turbo itself they're held on by a couple of jubilee clips or hose clamp clips if you're in dollars um, you just remove this um, pipe, it's pretty easy stuff, just loosen and pull off. You can see I'm doing there. Now that I said this turbo was failing, low power. Um, as you can see, just look inside, you see there's oil in there. So, you know, just, some, just more confirmation that it was actually failing as expected. So oil was leaking through the bearings. So now we've got to strip it down a little bit so we can gain access to the turbo and remove it a little bit easier. Once again, this is another set of hose clamp, hose pipe clamps. Just loosen them and just pull them off. Really simple stuff. Now oil would have gone all through these hoses, so the right thing to do is once you've taken them off is to clean them before you put the new turbo on. So it just shows you how far the, tr uh, the, the oil travelled. Now this is inside the turbo itself. As you can see, the veins are all destroyed basically so it was not going to be able to ever compress any air and give the car any real power so you know it's very easy just to take off that front hose and put your hand in there wiggle and have a look just to see what sort of damage has been done okay so this part here as you can see you just twist it up and it comes off there is a bolt that holds it but this one didn't have the bolt for some reason but this is the simple removal of it as you can see it's got like a little hook on the left and a bolt hole on the right Sorry, hay fever's bothering me. Um, this is the heat shield, the turbo heat shield. I believe it's a 10 mil socket, so you just take your time, undo it, sped this up a little bit. Um, these can break and become brittle, the actual case in itself, so as usual, take time, precaution, and make sure everything's all right. Sped this up a little bit. That's a six mil at the top there, because it's got an overlapping shield, so you're gonna have to undo both of them. There we go. Nearly done. Right to the front of it, there's another bolt there that you're going to need to remove. But it's better to get a little bit of access if you move the pipe that comes across. This is the bracket that holds that pipe that comes across the front of the actual turbo itself, that, that pipe at the bottom there. So now, as you can see, it's a little bit rusty. It would have been a bit beneficial with a bit of um, WD-40 to um, loosen it. But it comes off pretty easy, you know. As you can see I'm doing there. That stuck as if a bit of tissue inside the turbo itself to stop it from leaking on the floor. So now once you've released that back, it, that black pipe, which my hand is against, gives you a bit more movement so you can get access to the actual bolt in front of the shield itself. But once you've removed it, as you can see, it's a really easy, just up and off sort of thing. Okay, so the next thing to do is to remove the <coughs> engine, um, the mass airflow sensor pipe. And remove the air box so you've got just a little bit more access to what you want to do. It's got a little rubber elastic band on the side there, which you've got to remove also. And it's just a simple pull up and remove. It gives you more space around the car. Now we're removing the oil feed pipe on top of the actual engine itself. These are the banjo bolts you need to really take care of. They come with two washers either side and you don't want to lose any of them. So just be careful, take your time and uh, try not to bend or break that pipe because you're going to be needing it later same thing here we're checking the banjo bolts make sure they're nice and clean 
The lower one comes with a grommet inside. You really want to remove that because it's no help really. It just helps block it up. Now this is the uh, exhaust bracket for the turbo that holds it onto the turbo. I'm just using a bit of engine oil just to help me undo it because this gets hot and cold, really, really brittle. So um, you just want to, it's nice just to give it a little bit of help when it comes off. As you can see, I'm just doing it there. Now this can be a bit stiff, so you might need a hammer, you might need a little bit of help just to get it off. But there's the washer on the front that, that clamps onto it, showing you there. You're gonna need to keep that and remember the order that it goes on in. And then it's just a matter of trying to get that screw out. Even However you get it out, just try and get it out. But just, just, just make sure you uh, give it a little bit of help if it needs it. So put it, so I put it on the way it came off, just so I know for when it comes to putting it back on, know exactly how I need to do it. Okay, now this engine bracket is quite tight, so use two screwdrivers and go in either way and just do your gym work. <laughs> Pull them in opposite directions just to lift it over the lip of the exhaust and the turbo. So yeah, you can put that clamp down there, that's not going nowhere. There you go. Let's give you that little bit of room. Now there's an oil return pipe at the bottom. You want to just loosen that, usual Jubilee or hose clamp um, setup that is. So just, just loosen that because you're going to be pulling the turbo away. Really, really simple, easy stuff, nothing major. Okay, so now you're gonna loosen the bolts just underneath the turbo. In an ideal world, these would just come off. I believe they're 13 mil, um, but in an ideal world, these would just come off. But my ones were, um, they were they were a bit buckled or something wasn't quite right with them why um, I couldn't actually get them off. The 11 mil had shrunk and I couldn't use an 11 mil and it was rounding the bolts off, but the bottom ones came off kind of nicely. So if you can get them off normally, you just do it like this. You unloose them two screws that I'm touching the bottoms and these two at the top, which, which worked out to be 11 mil at the top. Now, as you can see here, you're just going to need a spanner because you can't get a socket in there just to loosen it and taking it off, take it off. Unfortunately, like I said before, the other bolt next to it did not want to come off so easy. It, had, it clearly had deformed because from the amount of heat that was going through it. So I had to remove the whole manifold as you're gonna see in the video, you know. But clearly this is something that can happen. I'm just showing you, you know, what to do if it does happen. So if it does happen, as you can see I'm doing here, I'm actually removing the turbo from the manifold itself. So uh, as you can see, just take your time step by step and undo all the bolts. Like, like if it would have been a whole lot easier if it came off, but it doesn't and sometimes this is how um, mechanical work goes. You're gonna have to have another plan on how to do things. But um, I ended up moving, moving the manifold, which came out pretty easy, if I'm being honest, but just took a little bit longer because it would only have taken them four screws to come out. So, as you, so this is it really. It's, it's all pretty easy, simple stuff. Um, when you take this off, make sure not to um, let anything go into the inlet ports because you're gonna need them. And as you can see, it's really easy, look simple stuff it would have been nice like i said before if them four bolts just come off because this video would have been a whole lot shorter but it didn't the total project took me about 40 minutes 40 minutes to uh remove and take off and it should take about the same time to put back on you will remember that you have to clean all the pipes all of the pipes all of the boost pipes to um make when you replace it with, an, with another turbo so anyway look it's a little bit of a fight but it does come off. You can see, I'm gonna get it off here. Come on, buddy. There we go. There we go. There you go. There you go. So the turbo has been removed. Hope you like the video. Comment, rate, subscribe. I will be showing the installation shortly. Thanks for watching.